Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing our Nitro Drop Shocks by Beltec. I uh, finally got these in. I've uh, been, been having all kinds of issues kind of figuring out uh, what shock to run and where to run it and all that good stuff. So the problem that I was having is the shock mount, there's already an upper shock mount and it's on the, it's on the outside of the frame right here. Alright, so initially I was going to run the shock with uh, you know one of these uh, banana style that just kind of mount onto the axle and what I was, the problem I was running into it was putting the shock straight up and down so I was having troubles getting a shock that was long enough and would collapse enough uh, to be able to to fit so I, I couldn't get anything that would work um, I really didn't want to take the bed off to change the upper mount so what I decided to do is I'm just going to run it to the link and uh, that way too, I can set this at about a 20 to 30 degree angle. And that's kind of the optimal angle to have the most, uh, the, the, best, the best ride in the shock. So what I'm gonna do right now is, we're gonna get the, we'll get the tops all mounted on and then we'll get, uh, get the bottoms marked up. We're just gonna do these, these studs on the, on the links. Uh, I'm just gonna weld these in. And uh, so we'll get these mounted up. That way we can mark out where we're gonna where we're gonna get our bottoms mounted. We'll get into it. So as you guys know, you can you can run uh, your airbag truck without shocks, but this is what you end up with. So as you can see, it's it's pretty bouncy and it's it's not that great of a ride. And honestly, with it with it being a three eighths line and all that stuff, it's not very fast. So. Like, I, I think that stuff's all kind of played out, and that's why we're gonna be going with the shocks. Um, I think, you know, we could ride, you could ride lower, you could tuck more with the shocks, because it's just a little bit more stable, and you ain't gotta worry about bouncing all over the place. So, uh, that's why we're gonna run with these shocks. All right, guys, so, got my hole drilled. So, I went 11 and three quarters from, from the, uh, the pivot point. So I'm just gonna go in there, come over here, run a bead. We're gonna call that good right there. All right, here it is mounted up. Got her tightened down. So now we'll uh, we'll get the tire, the rim book back on, get the jacks out, and then uh, just make sure everything kind of flows well when we uh, go up and down with it. So we'll cycle the suspension, just check everything. All right, guys, just got the back wrapped up. Everything's bolted on, all legit. Can you see it or can you show them? Maybe yeah, you show them from the back. But we just did the same thing on the other side. But now, now look, now, now I got pushed pretty hard to get any any kind of bounce. It's got a nice recoil to it. It's gonna it's gonna ride good now. Nice and smooth, be floating. Choo choo. Now we just gotta get the front done, which is gonna be the most difficult one. So, uh, have to do some measurements, figure out the shock size. <sighs> just weld her up. All right. All right, just got it welded up. Not the best, that's for sure. All right, now we gotta get the passenger side done. Same thing, they got the bolt right there. Looks like they had another one there at some point. Uh, I don't know where they had all that, uh, I don't know where they were doing the top mounts at the time or what, but they definitely, I don't know, who knows. But I'm gonna get this cleaned up and this side, this side should be a lot easier because got plenty of room over here. It's not near as technical, so this side should go pretty quick, but uh, we'll get to it. All right, guys, I got all that cleaned up. This one was a pain because you really can't get in here without shooting sparks right at your face, but 
Just had to bear through it. Threw this up here just to protect the bag from getting hit with all the sparks. Uh, got that cleaned up. Actually needs to be cleaned up a little bit more, but should be good enough to get uh, get going and mocking up though. All right, so I'm gonna make the lower mount and what I'm using is just, this is a, it's just a banana style axle mount that I had. Uh, I'm just using this. All I did last time is I just cut a little bit off, cut it right there, bent it right here. And that's how I made this bottom mount. Bottom mount. So, I mean, obviously this is, uh, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's gonna work, but it's just uh, temporary until we figure out what kind of setup we want to go in the front. So this would get us by in the meantime, that way we can at least get it where it's rolling and we can drive it and enjoy it until we figure that portion of it. So. I'm gonna get all this mocked up and get it cut and we'll go from there. All right, got it all welded up. Got some paint on there so it don't rust. This will do just fine until we get our new A-arms. All right, I'm gonna get these shocks put on then we're gonna take it for a spin. All right, guys, just cycled the suspension right now. Let's see if I can get you in there. There you go. So there it's already all the way laid out. So still looks like there's about an inch and a half of uh, before it bottoms out the shock. So obviously we'll have to cut that bolt. But uh, that's it. I think this is gonna work good for the time being until we, uh, until we get our front A-arms and all that stuff set up. Alright guys, first time we've driven this truck in a long time. You know how it is, you get all excited. I, I don't even have a, a wheel nut on this thing, or a, a bolt to hold the steering wheel on. All right, guys, hey, so that's gonna wrap up this one. So next, we're gonna finish up our door panels. We're gonna replace these, finish up our door panels. Uh, we're kind of picking out fabrics right now. Uh, another thing too, we just got with, uh, what's that place called? Custom speaker pods. And we got a set up to do two, and a, two six and a halfs in each door. And uh, that's gonna be our next video. We're gonna get this wrapped up and get rolling. Hey, you like what you see? Hit that like button, subscribe, hit us up in the comments if you got any questions.